Whoa. I'm starting this one over. I started videotaping and then it said I was running out of storage space on this stupid tablet. Yeah, I got a new phone, but the phone, if I record video with the phone, it looks really great, but it takes forever to upload from it. I haven't made up my mind what I'm going to do about this dilemma here. I totally need to have, if I have two devices, they need to be with the same company. And I still need a new tablet, but actually, you've done heard me complain and moan about my goal. A laptop. I need a laptop to be able to make better content, to be able to get better things done, to design t-shirts and learn how to edit and all that. Anyway, good morning. It is still morning, technically. It's only a little bit after 11 o'clock my time. Central, standard, earth time. Um, I've had a good day so far. Done got up, walked all the way. Actually walked a little past the church today. I walked all the way to the stop sign and turned around in the restaurant uh, parking lot. But I'm going to save uh, some of that journey for a, a separate video. I've got a... A few things stirring in my brain on my walk there and back today and then I've had a couple good conversations this morning with other people and uh, I want to make a video later uh, of me just kind of sharing once again some stuff about my day and uh, laying out some of my ideas for what I want to accomplish by the end of the year uh, for the channel for myself personally in my life uh, but right now this video is for Way of the Wizard um, by Deepak Chopra. And if you'll remember, we are Lesson 19. We're on Lesson 19. And uh, we'll be doing Understanding the Lesson. So let's get started. My arm's kind of hurting. No, I haven't called the doctor yet to tell him. Uh, it's not so excruciating yet, but it it's a constant problem, aching. Excuse me, didn't mean to burp. Actually, I meant to. I mean, I let it out, didn't I? Okay, I hope all you guys are doing good. I send in prayers and positive vibes out. Here we go, understand the lesson. Desire holds a peculiar place in our hearts because although each of us moves through life desiring one thing after another, Our old desires get thrown away as if they never mattered. Desires never end, no matter how many wishes come true, and at the same time, no single desire lasts long enough to allow us to put desire fully behind us. You are only human, and your nature is to want more and more, Merlin said. Desire is what leads you through life until the time comes when you desire a higher life. So do not be ashamed that you want so much. But do not fool yourself into thinking that what you want today will be enough tomorrow. I'm going to repeat that. So do not be ashamed that you want so much. But do not fool yourself into thinking that what you want today will be enough tomorrow. It is obvious that desires never end, yet that has not stopped people, often very spiritual people, from trying to renounce desire. In the West, Christians condemn the weakness of the flesh because of its base desires. In the East, Buddhism blames desire for being at the root of the endless cycle of pleasure and pain. But in a wizard's eyes, there is no reason to cast judgment against desire. When you go out into the world, Merlin told the boy Arthur, you will seize a prize that all men want. This will turn thousands against you and lead you into years of strife to win your crown. Then I won't take the crown, Arthur said, much troubled. No, that is not the way, Merlin replied. Desire leads mortals into all kinds of turmoil. 
but it is in God's plan for you to have desires. But desire blinds people and makes them selfish. It stirs up violence as you just prophesied. It creates ignorance and sets one person against another. Those are all uses of desire, Merlin pointed out. There is a mystery here, as always, that only the seeker will solve. Is desire good or evil, or neither? I will give you a clue. To find out the true nature of desire, you must begin without judgment. Honor each and every desire you have. Cherish those desires in your heart. Do not struggle to get what you want. Trust that your higher spirit has put the desire inside you and leave it to spirit to make your wishes come true. You may find that the evil in desire is actually not desire itself, but humans struggle over it. The wizard does not struggle to have his own way to grab or win or possess. People he sees, <clears throat> because he sees desire in a larger pattern laid down by spirit. Seen for what it really is, desire expresses your ultimate need to rejoin perfection. From the moment you were born, there was never any hope that you would feel feel fulfilled by achievements or possessions or status. Nothing outward was ever going to work. Nothing outside is going to work. Then why did God create so many objects of desire? Arthur asked. Why not? What is wrong with wanting more of this world if it is worth wanting at all? Replied Merlin. Look upon desire as the willingness to receive what God wants to give. This world is a gift. There was no compulsion for the Creator to make it. God's ability to grant unto you is limited only by your ability to receive. Perhaps so, but why didn't God simply provide a direct path to Himself? Arthur asked. He did. Desire is the direct path, for there is no quicker way to God than your own wishes and needs. Why should God give you something before you want it? When you look at your own desires and judge against them, have you ever asked yourself why? To judge desire is to judge its source, which is yourself. To fear desire means that you fear yourself. The problem is not with desire, but what happens when your desires are blocked or frustrated. Then the struggle and judgment begin. If you could see a way to fulfill all your desires, which is what God has had in mind for you all along, you would see that without desire, you couldn't grow. Imagine yourself as a child who never wanted to go beyond playing with toys. Without new desires constantly arising inside you, you would be trapped in perpetual immaturity. There's something to think about. I do have a question, you know, for myself. Some des some people desire some things that ain't necessarily good. Uh, even myself, you know, like the desire for alcohol. I don't think that God, you know, placed it. But um, I do see what he's saying. Um, and when I say God, I'm, I'm speaking on a really broad sense here. It's a, it's a wide range of things. I'm not putting the idea of God into a box. Um, I, I have many different names and ways I speak and call God. Uh, like Big Kahuna, Divine Source, The Source, uh, The All, The All-Knowing Eye in the Sky, Spirit, Holy Spirit. Uh, I just use the, the word that we all generally know so that when I'm talking to certain people, they can at least know where I'm coming from and what I'm talking about. Because some people only know uh, that one word and that's not what that's that's not a name that's a label that's like a word that a man created to try to 
try to comprehend something that it's almost incomprehensible anyway. But, I don't know. I've been in some good thought today. The past several days have been really good. I've gotten a lot done. You know, I moved that love seat out here. I decided today was a good day to come out here and see it and uh, do a video out here. Um, probably do uh, my next video. The video I was talking about wanting to do. Uh, I'm trying to organize my thoughts and remember all the things that I uh, had in my brain. Because on my walk towards the church and back, you know, I was communicating with spirit and uh, having certain insights. Uh, you know, and like I said, uh, when I got up there past the stop sign and turned around, there was a somebody mowing the yard for the church and I'll, I'll keep all that i want to share that in the next video that i make uh, hopefully i get it made today you know like when i turn this off and everything i've got other things i got to take care of first but uh, I'm, I'm glad you're watching if you are watching uh, please hit that like button if you haven't already subscribed uh, i might ask you if you would think about subscribing if you've watched uh, even just one video and liked it Check out a few more videos and determine if you would like to subscribe. Uh, just because you subscribe doesn't mean you got to watch everything. But, um, you know, once again, uh, one of my goals for the end of the year now, you know, I'll probably mention in the other video because I'm going to be talking about goals. But one of my main goals for the channel is just let's try to get 500 subscribers on this channel by the end of the year. And uh, by, the, by the, me sharing to my social media, that helps it. But if you have social media, share it to yours. Whether it be Facebook, X, uh, Gab, uh, Truth Social, anywhere you can share it, share it. Share the share it in the buttloads. Especially any video that you've watched of mine that really helps you. Um, thank you for being you. Until next time. <laughs> This old dude here, Mr. Gray Cloud, Sage of the Eternal Moment, over now. Booyah! Ditto.